All right, this is Captain Empathy, and this is part three of my subtractor tutorial. Um, this is actually being recorded after I've already done part four, so I might mess some things up, but hopefully not. So in the first two videos, I showed you how to use the oscillators, the filter, um, the filter envelope, amp envelope, and the LFO number one. So I'll show you how to use the noise, LFO number two, the mod envelope, and the second filter. So the second filter is a low-pass 12 filter, just like the filter one or filter one's one of its settings. Um, so that's pretty easy to get a hang of. And then you also have the link function here. So you can have both filters active and the link function only works if you have filter two on. It doesn't do anything if filter two is not on. So what link does is it makes filter two equal to filter one plus this frequency. So filter two will still be a low pass filter no matter what, but what you can do with this is you can set it so that its frequency is this frequency plus this frequency. So if you're at four notch, uh, wait, one, two, three notches, you can have it be one, two, three notches plus five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your filter to frequency will actually be up here. So if it's at zero, it will just be the exact same thing as filter one frequency, but for each notch you raise it up, it will be filter one plus one notch. So on to the mod envelope. It's exactly like the filter envelope, except instead of modulating the filter one frequency, it will modulate any one of these six parameters. So you can just look at them and see what they do. And I'll just show you what this does. You can basically make it pretty simple here. Pretty simple. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go on to the noise now. Noise is just a simple noise generator. You have three knobs for it, decay, length, or sorry, not length, level, and color. Decay is how long it takes for it to fade. Um, let's see, color is what it sounds like. And then level is how loud. Pretty simple. Um, the thing to note is that noise and oscillator number two are both part of this right mix channel. So if your mix channel is all the way to the left, you will not hear the noise. And if your mix channel is all the way to the right, you will not hear oscillator one, but you will hear either of these sound generators that are turned on. Now I will go on to LFO number two. The thing to note about this is that it does not have a sync feature and it does not have a wave select feature. It is just a triangle wave and you cannot sync it with your song so it will just be a random or you it won't be random you can still select the rate but you just can't accurately tell what it's going to be set at so i will just change oscillator one and two so what's going on here is that it's just modulating the first and second pitches and it will not change the noise pitch because the noise doesn't change pitch depending on what key you play. So now the two things you have on LFO2 that you do not have on LFO number one are keyboard track and delay. Now what keyboard track is, is the higher up the note of the keyboard you play, the faster the rate will be. So if you play, this is a pretty slow rate. And if you actually play the octave higher than that, the rate will be twice as fast. And you can actually set the keyboard track anywhere between 0 and 127. So the higher it is, the more the highness of the note you play affects the LFO number 2. And then you also have delay. The delay is how long it takes for LFO, to, LFO 2 to go into effect after you play a note. And that is basically it. You can control any of these four, um, any of these four pat, not patches, sorry, any of these four parameters. And that is all I have for number three. So I hope you guys continue on to watch the fourth one and then you'll be pretty familiar with the subtractor. And after the subtractor tutorials, I'm going to be going on to the redrum. So hope to see you guys there and I will see you guys next time.